before we get started on exercise 3, I want to highlight a general preference that should be turned on. So we're going to go to File, Preferences, Company Preferences, and then our general, we're going to come down to Select Features to Use. We want to make sure down bottom that I create purchase orders when buying and or receiving merchandise is checked. We go ahead and click Save. Now when we come back to our navigator, you'll see that Make a PO and Receive from a PO has been added. If not, it may be necessary for you to close out Quick, QuickBooks Point of Sale, reopen it, and then you'll see the changes here in your navigator. So now let's jump into the exercise. First thing we're going to do is make a PO. So we're going to click on Make a PO here. And you'll see a new windows popped up, new purchase order. So the PO number can be the sequential number that uh, QuickBooks suggests and or we can give a unique number such as what the vendor provides us. We're going to leave that as one. We're going to tab over to the vendor field. We're going to start to type in new and you'll see QuickBooks populates this with new media software. We're going to keep our statuses open. Now if we look over here on the right hand corner we're going to accept the order date and the ship date. We're going to tap down to our items field we're going to type in vacation planner. We're going to tab over to our order quantity. We're going to change that to three. Now on the bottom of our screen, we'll notice down here that the terms that we set when we set up or the terms that we defined when we created our vendor is automatically filled in here. And then on the right hand side, we can also put in a discount. For this example, we're going to put a discount of 2.5%. And we'll see our total comes to be 289.57. So we're going to go ahead and click Save. And I want to show you guys one other way to add items to a PO. We can go ahead and click back on Make PO. We're going to go ahead again and accept the PO number. QuickBooks suggests. We'll go ahead and type in our vendor, New Media Software. And we can come right, right up here to the top and click on I want to, and we can select items from list. And instead of typing in the vacation planner, we can pull up our entire item list here and then double click. And then we'll tab over to the quantity order field and change that to three, and or we can hit this quantity plus button. And again, you'll see our terms have been added down here. So it's automatically going to calculate when the payment is due. And we're going to come over here and put the discount amount. 2.5%. Click Save Only. 